So it's your move. Man United, the second and final part of the Cristiano Ronaldo interview that has rocked world football aired last night. Yep, Ronaldo revealed that he felt provoked by the Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag when he refused to come on as a substitute against Tottenham. Ronaldo also said that Ten Hag lacks empathy and attention will now very much turn to the club who said they'd make a decision on Ronaldo's future after seeing the full interview with Piers Morgan. Well, one man close to the Portugal squad is our very own Gary Cotterell, who's in Lisbon for us right now. As you can see, Gary, what has been the reaction to Ronaldo's interview there in Portugal? Well, for, for many, many people uh, around the country, uh, around the world, it's been popcorn out time, hasn't it? Sit back, relax, watch the drip, drip, drip revelations of that interview. First of all, a bit on Sunday then on Monday, then a bit more on Tuesday, then the full interview part one on Wednesday, then the full interview part two last night. You'd have thought that friends of Cristiano Ronaldo, people who know Cristiano Ronaldo, people who play with Cristiano Ronaldo uh, at his club, people who play with Cristiano Ronaldo for, for their country would be at the front of the queue to watch the interview, but not so. Bruno Fernandes, his club teammate, his country teammate, says he hasn't seen a second of it, hasn't read any of it, hasn't heard any of it, hasn't seen any of it. And therefore, when I asked him whether he had any problem with what Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo had said, this was his reply. I didn't read the interview, so <laughs> I'm OK with that. Uh, as I said before, uh, now his national team is Portugal. He suggested that you gave him a bit of a cold shoulder in the dressing room on Monday. Why you say that? Because it, they put out footage, the uh, FA, and it, it looked like, because there was no sound, that you were a bit cross with the, They put the sound after. Did you, did you hear with the sound? I Ah, OK. You have to do it. because you know, you know what's happened? He's like, in Portugal, we have a problem that I was watching one, uh, one of the channels that was talking about that, was cold, was bad, uh, for 45 minutes. All of a sudden, they go in a break. National team send with, us, with the sound. The sound says that he's joking with me. And so they, they come back. They said, there was a joke. And they cut there. And they said, if you want to see again, just go back. But if they, if they go back, they will see that was a problem. But if they told, if they tell the, the really true, if they explain what was in that video, people will know. But now people doesn't know. So, as I said, this is national team. Manchester United will be my focus after the World Cup, after the 18th of December, because there is the final. And the, so you have no problem with it. I have no problem with anyone. I do my job and, uh, and, and is, is everything. Uh, one time one manager said to me, everything that you can control is yourself. So uh, I think everyone thinks the same way. You have to control yourself, give your best and that's it. Really engaged there he seems to put the record straight. No problem with anyone, no problem with Cristiano Ronaldo, no problem with anything that he's uh, revealed in that interview, which would be good for Manchester United fans to hear, perhaps potentially a chance for the two to play, again, play together again, although it looks pretty unlikely, doesn't it? Now the two of them will be on the same team bus, not necessarily sitting together when the Portugal team arrive at the airport just down the road from here a bit later on uh, today. About 12.30, we think they're going to get on a plane and fly uh, over to Qatar to begin their World Cup campaign. And we'll bring you those pictures on Sky Sports News. Gary, fantastic. Many thanks.